Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, if it was that simple, why have I been having such a hard time with it? Maybe you've been having a hard time with it because you're not used to variables yet, that algebra S thing that we've been working on. No problem, let's get used to it now. Just don't change a couple of things. Hmm. Three is still a factor, but I want to swap it out for another factor, which is also a variable. B. Three times B. Now, please don't think my B is a six. I've been working hard on my handwriting. Anyway, if I wanted to show the commutative property of multiplication with three and B, what do I need to do? Two seconds to think. One, two. All I have to do is just switch them around. B, still a factor. Multiplying, still the operation that we're doing. Three, still a factor. Three times B, let me write that here, times B is equal to B times three. I love how easy this is for us. Well, with that being said, let's move on. So far, we have covered associative property of multiplication and commutative. Now it's time for us to do distributive property. And if I was to be honest, I think this is the most difficult one for us because it involves so much. Did you see that earthquake? Shake my camera, my ladybug? Actually, it wasn't an earthquake. It was this Mr. Smith hitting the table. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> so here, here we have six times one plus one or six open parentheses, one plus one close parentheses. Now let's solve this first using PEMDAS, parentheses first. So that's one plus one, which is two. Now we multiply that two by our six and we come up with the product 12. I'm writing it off to the side because I want us to really believe in distributive property. If distributive property really works, then we should still come up with the product 12 after we do everything we do. All right, let me put down this black marker and pick up a blue marker. What we do in distributive property is this. We take the factor on the outside of the parentheses, which is six, and we multiply by everything that's inside the parentheses. So that's six times this one. How would I write that out? I would write open parentheses, six times one, close parentheses. Next, I bring down the sign that I have in my parentheses. Sign, not so much sign, yeah, addition sign. I bring that down, plus, and then I move on. I multiplied this factor six by my first one inside the parentheses, but my work is still not done. I need to multiply this factor six by my second one in the parentheses. So it goes around, just like this. Six times one. That's a multiplication sign, I swear to it. How do I write that? Six times one, close parentheses. If you close the parentheses, you have to open it. If you open the parentheses, you have to close it. Now let's actually solve this. Six times one is six. What am I doing with that six? I'm adding it to six times one, that product. Oh, picked up the wrong marker. Six. Six plus six equals what? 12. Ba -ba -na -na. We just found or discovered, rediscovered, refreshed our memory on distributed property. You take the factor on the outside of the parentheses and multiply it by everything that's inside of it. That's simple. Let's make it a little complicated by adding in some algebra.
we've been seeing this lately. X is a factor on the outside of a parentheses. We know what to do with it. Let's take, mm, actually, let me change it a little bit. Three is the factor on the outside of the parentheses. X, let's go with minus two, close parentheses. Now, according to distributive property, if you remember, I hope you remember, we take this factor three and multiply by everything that's inside the parentheses, which is X and two. So here we have it, three times X. How do you write that? Open parentheses, three times X, close parentheses. I bring down the sign inside the parentheses. That's minus, subtract. And then I continue on. I need to multiply this factor three by the other number inside the parentheses or other numbers. It depends on how big the problem is. Three times two. How do you write that? Open parentheses. Three times two. Close parentheses. Let's keep on going, guys. Sometimes on the test, it will be just this by itself. And then other times, they'll actually take it a step further. Um, a step further and ask you to actually solve it of sorts. So three times X is three X. What am I doing with that three X? I'm subtracting it. Well, having it to subtract something else from. Yeah, is that the way I wanna say it? Pretty much. <laughs> Maybe. I'll get back to that. Three times two is six. Now that I have my six, I think I can say it correctly. I'm subtracting six from three X. This is our final answer. But you might be saying to yourself, this is not an answer. There's still a variable there. No problem. If you want to find out what the X is, here, let me make it into an equation. The equation, you can solve it yourself. Let's see. Mm -hmm. There you have it. I'll give you learning earnings money if you find out what X is. What is X equal to? You have to do the inverse operation. Anyway, well, thank you so much for listening to me for about 18 minutes. Um, you guys are great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, whenever tomorrow is, unless you watch this on Friday. Then I can't see you tomorrow on Saturday. But if you watch this on Sunday and then I see you tomorrow, Sunday's tomorrow, then it will be Monday, and that's, that's all right. That works out. Anyway, <laughs> have a good evening. Good night. Bye-bye. My products are the same, 12 and 12.